So this video is going to be working our core strength a bit more. Um, it's going to involve some curl ups. It's going to involve some roll ups as well, um, but not too much um, loading of the spine in double knee folds. Some, but not too much, not, not long legs. Um, so for a warm up, I'm going to use a TheraBand. Um, if you don't have one, a dressing gown cord, um, I'm going to borrow a sweatshirt. You can use, use that as well to give the legs a bit of a stretch. So a quick warm up to make sure we're not starting completely cold. Um, just going to come into four point kneeling and again, lengthen the spine and do a few of our cat stretches, rounding, dropping back to our heels and then straightening out the spine and moving forwards. Again, three more. Just to make sure you don't come to a class or you don't start a mat work class until you are a little bit warmed up. Scoop around, forwards and up. Good. So we're then going to come onto my back. Um, I've got my sweatshirt here, it's my cushion. Um, and um, I'm going to use the band, put it around my right foot and do a little bit of lurk, stretch and uh, lift and lower. So, and up again. I'm really just warming up, loosening the leg. You can have this leg straight as long as it doesn't pull your low back off the mat. Okay, so I'm trying to keep my pelvis still on these exercises and not let my bottom curl up with me. That's a no-no, keep the sacrum down. Taking that into just some loose hip circles too, using the band and up, or dressing gown cord, and then back around the other way. One more, and back, good. So I'm going to change over, again some lift and lower, and up. And then hip circles. And then the other way. So I'm still trying to keep my sacrum heavy on the mat. Okay, I'm not lifting my bottom up and keeping my pelvis as still as possible. Last one. And back in, good. So if you've still got a, a dressing gown cord, you double it over or a jumper, you can just bend it over and hold the arms nice and vertical, knees and feet together. And again, taking it into some hip rolls, cross, taking the arms the opposite way and using your core, come back to centre. As I say, this is just loosening up before we go into more exercises working specifically on curl ups and core strength. Good. Use your waist and back to centre. And back. Great. So we don't need the band anymore for the moment. And bring the hands behind the head and just warm the back up into curl up. So again, a little chin nod and breathing out, scoop the head, neck and shoulder blades up off the mat. Inhale and come down. Exhale, scoop, and then back down. And scoop, and down. And then add a little oblique, so just kind of coming up, add a slight twist, just make sure the back is feeling loose enough to come on to some obliques later. Again, in curl ups, just try and keep the pelvis still and watch it doesn't tilt up towards you. Okay, try and keep it heavy and in neutral. And then back down. Great. So we're going to start with hundreds. Um, again, not going to necessarily too high level, so stick with what you're ready um, and feel comfortable with. So arms by your side and take a moment just to engage your centre muscles. Then out breath. 
drawing in and up. Again, in hundreds, if you feel, you've got to try and keep your pelvis in neutral. I'd rather it stay slightly tilted towards you than definitely tilted away, okay? Aiming for neutral spine as much as possible. So from this position, we're going to start really basic. I'm going to hover my arms, keep my shoulders wide, knock my chin, scoop head, neck and shoulder blades up. Okay, you really engage the centre now. Make sure your back is in neutral and the back, um, the gap under the back hasn't got any bigger. From here, you can stick and do your 100 arms here, or you can add it up. Today, I'm going to bring the knees all the way in, okay, past over top without lifting the bottom, and start my 100s here. So scooping up, breathing in, and out. Breathing in. If there's too much, just have one leg down. As you warm up, bring the legs back to more of a classical knee fold position. You're going to have to increase the amount you're pulling in with your belly to keep that back in neutral. We want to avoid any increased tension going up into the neck. So you've got to work harder in your belly and then leave the head, neck and shoulders alone. Come up a millimetre more. If you feel comfortable, take the legs quite high vertical. And you can begin to lower, but we're not doing too much double legs today. 20 more. Keep pulling in. Don't let the dummy dome up. And then bring the knees in, lower the head, and have a little knee hug in. Again, just rock the knees forwards and back, open circle and close. And so we can roll up into sitting. So we're going to roll up gently today. I'm going to have one leg straight. I'm going to use my leg lever to help. Again, nod the chin, use your core as much as possible, but you can use the leg lever to help you come up into sitting. From here, our spine stretch forward. So if you need to have the knees bent, the back needs to be straight. Bringing the arms forward and a sense that you're pressing down onto a tabletop. So pull your shoulders down. Breath in, exhale, roll forwards, pulling back with the deep tummy muscles. Breath in and re-stack using the tummy muscles. A sense of pressing down. Exhale, pull back. And then breath in, exhale, pull with the tummy and up. Press down, exhale. And pull back and restack. Again, we're gonna roll back down to the mat and have the left leg bent. So from here, creating a C curve with the spine. So that's that, not the slouch. Is that scoot back up and in. And we're going to roll back, tucking our tailbone underneath, mindful that we're not sinking in the upper back. So pull back, roll when you need to, bring the leg with you, use that little bit of counterbalance. Roll, bring the knee in, stretch and bend, stretch and bend, also stretching the right leg away. From here, rolling up, you allow that leg lever, not the chin, scoop the head. Use your tummy muscles, upper tummy muscles, lower tummy muscles, peeling up, coming through. And I'm just going to adjust and up into sitting. Again, rolling forwards, pull back with the deep tummy muscles. Take a breath in and exhale, pull all the way up. A press down from the shoulders, nod, keep that press down with the shoulder blades. Rolling forwards, pulling back with the lower tummy. And then exhale. So we're just trying to open up the low back. You can pull your toes up if you need to. And a little bit of extra stretch. Shoulders down, pull back, breath in, and restack the spine. Good. And from there, another roll back, bringing the knee towards you into C curve. Deepening the deep tummy muscles, scooping in and up. Have a sense that the ribs go back and up. From there, we're going to tuck the tailbone underneath, work from the belly to pull back. Use the leg if you need to, rolling back down as smoothly as you can. 
From here, knee comes into the chest, stretch and bend. Stretch and bend, stretch and bend. And a roll up once more. So leg, go, arm goes long, nod the chin, use your tummy. Use your leg if you need to, to roll up, coming up into sitting and arms forward. One more spine stretch, pressing down, breath in to prepare. And exhale, stretch and the low back, pull back as you reach forwards. And then re-stack the spine all the way up. Good, so you can carry on with your roll backs using the leg. Um, if you can do your roll backs without the leg, then uh, we can do it with both knees bent or legs straight. So let's do one of each. Bring the hands behind the thighs, grow tall. Find that C curve as you scoot back and up. And then from there, use your deep tummy muscles to pull you back, your shoulders. Have a sense your shoulders don't want to be going leading. They want to be pulling back using the tummy muscles. Let the hands slide down the thighs, slow. Pull back with the tummy. Get the low back towards the mat first. And then peel the spine down. Let's take the arms up and over for rib cage closure. Try and keep those ribs down. Breathing out. And inhale up. Let's do one more of those. Breathe up, exhale. And inhale up. Hold your arms at the top, ready for a roll up. So as your hands get to the ceiling, that's your cue to roll up. Pressing down, nod the chin. Exhale, breathe out. Scoop the upper back up. Grab the back of the thighs if you need to. Come up, roll up, and just have a little bend forwards. And again, two more. Let's try with legs long. Draw the shoulder blades down. Have a sense of pressing down on a tabletop. C curve. And then from there, pull back. Resist, resist. The only thing that's pulling you back is these deep tummy muscles tucking your bottom underneath you, releasing through the front of the thighs and rolling back and down. Arms overhead, keep the ribs down as you breathe out and then inhale up to the ceiling and then your exhale press down scoop reach up 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 use that curve straight forwards into spine stretch relax the upper back and then roll back up you can let's, let's restart the spine last one pull the belly in and resist slow press the shoulders down Tuck the bottom underneath you, relax the front of the thighs, slower, 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 and down, and arms overhead, and back to centre. Great, from there I'm just going to readjust, bring the knees in, and a version of hip circles, this is bent knee hip circles. I'm going to bring your um, left knee for today up into knee fold. So imagine this paintbrush on the end of your knee facing up to the ceiling and you're going to paint a circle on the ceiling from the knee. We want to be keeping your pelvis still. Keeping that pelvis, keeping that back in neutral. Don't let it come off. Harder than it looks. Watch your standing legs pointing up to the ceiling. Let's reverse that circle. Knee out. Anyone thinking, oh, it's too easy? Bring the hands across the chest. And it becomes a little more challenging. Remember, you want to keep any excess tension away from the head, neck and shoulders. It's all coming from your core and your waist. Bit of obliques. One more, and back in. Good, switching to the other side. Right knee comes up to knee fold, engage that center. Feel your contact points on the mat and they don't change. From there, point that um, circle on the ceiling from the top of your knee. Okay, sometimes that often goes wrong with this exercise as the foot just circles. Instead, all the pelvis rolls. So keep those head 
lights on your hip bones facing the ceiling rather than rocking to the side. Good, and one up. And change direction again. You can cross the hands over the chest if you feel you want a bigger challenge. And breathing sort of in for half a circle, out for half a circle. One more. Haven't you? And rest down. Great. Bringing that into some curl ups there. Hands behind the head. And as we did earlier, breathing out as you scoop up. And then from here, keeping everything still on the right and left. Float the right knee up. And then lower it back down. And float the left knee up. And then lower it down. And roll the head, neck, and shoulders down. So you can stay up for a pair, or you can even come up, knee fold up, lower down, and come back. Scoop up, knee fold up, lower down, and come back. Use your heel toe lift. Let's stay up here. Let's use the heel toe peel as you come up, and then lower, and then down. Two more pairs. Scoop, heel, toe, peel, and lower, and scoop, heel, toe, peel, and lower, and down. Last one, stay up there, peel up, heel, toe, peel, and lower, heel, toe, peel, and lower, and all the way down. So with the breathing, I usually try and breathe out during the hardest part of the exercise, which is often lowering the leg, um, to help my ribs and pelvis engage. As I breathe out, my ribs will close down and feel an increased connection with my center. So from here, adding a little bit more on. So scooping up again into curl up, nodding the chin, breathing out. And I'm going to look at my pelvis and keep it level. Right knee floating up, single leg stretch away, bring it back in, and lower, lower the head, neck, and shoulders. And scoop, single knee fold, stretch away, back in, lower, and down. And again, staying up there for this one. Up, breath in, and lower. Inhale up, exhale away. Inhale in, and exhale lower, coming down. And again, back to singles. Up, knee fold, leg long, keep the hip bones level. And as you change from one leg to the other, keep the hip bones, oh, I'm supposed to come down. And <laughs> keep them coming up, keep the hip bones level. Up, and down, a thing I forgot lost. So this next one, stay up, knee fold, we stretch, that's it, keep that curl up a little bit, no, not with the head, with the tummy muscles. Up, stretch, back in, back down, and rest. Keep the hands where they are, bring the knees and feet together for a few more hip rolls. Cross, and back with your waist into centre. Cross, back with your waist to centre. Over. And waist in. Over. Exhale, come back. Breathing in. Exhale, over. Take a breath in. Nothing pulls you back except exhale that waist first, that pelvis. Breathe out. Breath in. Exhale, ribs and centre close together. If you feel really unbalanced here, allow the arms to go wide. Don't feel like you're clinging on with your head and neck. Do one more across and then back to centre. Great. Adding in a little bit of single leg stretch in, in um, double knee fold. So again, we're going to scoop up the head, neck and shoulders. Bring the right knee up. Engage the centre, bring the second leg up, reaching the arms forwards as if we're doing hundreds. Holding on to the right knee, chin, left leg goes long and stretch. 
and stretch, stretch, and come up a little bit more. Be precise where your feet end up, the same place each time. And one more. And knee hug, lower down, knee hug in and over. Good. So I'm going to break that up a little bit. We're going to come up into sitting, keep things moving. So you can roll up or you can use your leg to help you. Either way, both is going to be harder now. Drink the arms over if you're rolling up. Bring the arm in up to the ceiling. Press down on the chin. Exhale. Lifting up, 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 up and over. Come through into your spine. Stretch. And then restack the spine all the way up. So from here, take the legs wider for a um, spine twist. Or you can sit with your knees bent or your feet in frog leg position, okay? So either way, if you need a moment to put a block or a, um, a jumper underneath your bottom to make it a little bit more comfortable, then do, okay? Press pause. Okay, legs a little bit wider. Growing tall for spine, twist, arms rotate round to the right, back to centre, round to the left, back to centre, press the arms down, and back, shoulders away from ears, Ooh, the ribs down, twist, twist, and back, twist, twist, back one more. Grow tall as you twist. And back and release. So if that becomes too grippy for the front of your thighs, allow that frog leg position or up onto a cushion. And then coming rolling back down once more for a few more exercises. So again, knees can be bent or they can be long. Um, let's try knees bent this time actually. Put arms forwards or behind the thighs. Scooping in with the tummy. The only time this isn't great is if your hip flexors are very tight, so have your legs longer. Scoop and slowly back, pulling, engaging with your deep tummy muscles. Don't just let yourself fall. You're resisting. Your upper body doesn't want to move back, but your lower, your tummy muscles, deep tummy muscles, are pulling you back down towards the mat and come in again. I take every opportunity to have a nice back open stretch. And in fact, let's do a little bit of windows here. Oh, chicken wings, I can't remember. So from here, let's take both arms up and over. Now draw your elbows down by your side and just feel during that movement that you're opening up through your chest. So it's somewhere here in the movement which is the biggest effect and then you reach long. Draw the elbows down, back of the hands out, find that position, that range that just opens up your chest, opens up your upper back. Don't let the ribs come off because you'll lose it. Draw the ribs down, keep the pelvis in neutral. Elbows down and reach one more. I tend not to do too many in case it's a little bit tight. Good, reach up all the way up and back down. Great, so a little bit more in the core today. I'm going to start with some sort of mini scissors or toe taps really. Um, bring the hands behind the head again, nodding the chin, scoop head, neck and shoulders up. I'm going to do another one. Mine always feels a little bit stiff after that last exercise. Exhale, scoop up better. Okay, from there, peel the right knee up. Engage your centre more because you're going to about to change legs. Toe taps and change. And change. And change. So just be careful that you're not making it too easy by just bending at the knee here. Okay. Toe taps. Again, if you want that little bit more of a challenge, bring those feet a little bit further away from you. Keeping that back in neutral. Keep that connection with the mat and one more pair and up good and lower down lovely 
So again, a, a almost double leg stretch, but a, a modification. Okay, so not always having to go to the top level. The arms will be doing an arm circle, and the leg will be doing a leg stretch. So we can start lots of levels, but we're gonna work a little bit in double knee fold, but not double legs. So the hands come behind, I'm gonna demonstrate with the head down to start with. So as the leg goes long, the arms go long, that's where you wanna catch yourself that you're still connected. Bring round together. Reach long, connect, and back round. So in a curl up, scooping up, maintain that curl up. Do not let your body drop down. And it's long and scoop back in. Reach long and scoop back in. Long and scoop back in. Long. If it's too much for your back, you're struggling, just come here, drop a leg. Reach and in, reach and in, I love legs, and one more, reach and in, lower the head, neck and chest, knees in, great, okay, and touching on a few obliques as well, so building up a little bit with obliques, hands behind the head, and bringing the left elbow across to right knee, and down, right elbow, I don't really mean the elbow, <laughs> I mean the shoulder, the ribs to hip, ribs to hip, ribs to hip, ribs. Again, adding a little bit of toe taps to this if you want to. And switch and switch. Go towards, towards. One more pair, and back down. Great, one more roll up, unless we do French, no, one more roll up. So take the legs long, use a leg if you need to, bring the arms overhead, reach long, stretch, always find that moment for length through the body. Breathing into a pair, lifting up, exhale, press down, Slow, lift back and up, and then stretch forwards, pulling back with the lower tummy and coming up. Into a little bit of sore, so take the legs wide or the same position for your spine twist. Bring the arms out to the side, left hand going towards right foot, pull back with the tummy, pull, stay down with the left hip, reach, 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 and up. Twist. And up. Okay, so twist, pull back with the left hip, pull back with the tummy, look back up with the right arm and up. And twist. Okay, if it's too stiff, bend the knees, have a more comfortable reach past as if you are going to your foot. And back up, more open the shoulders or more like this. Okay, so don't be so stiff. And again, sit up onto that block if you need it. Come off the block if you're on it. One last movement back down to the mat. This time with legs long and turned out. So roll those legs out, okay? Oh, sitting tall, arms forward, pressing down, pressing down on the table, scooping back with the tummy, Pull back, turn those legs outwards, slowly down, slowly down. <sighs> control, control, control. Get that low back on the mat. And again, open up the back and down. So this time we're gonna, um, you can keep a small neck cushion, but take a big neck cushion out if you need to. And then bring the feet in for a little bit of spine curls and bridge. So arms by your side, if you get a lot of cramp, you can just raise the feet up a little bit onto an extra mat. We might have a mat, an extra pillow, cushion, okay. Doing very well with my head cushion, I won't use that. And from there, bring the feet 
Heels closer to your fingertips if possible. Tilt the pelvis. Use your tummy muscles to tilt the pelvis. And then roll, wheel the spine, one bone at a time, lifting up and off. Okay. From there, send the knees forwards. Tilt the pubic bone up. Okay. Tuck the bottom and lengthen. Keep that back long. So if you do that, sending knees, you'll be working your bottom more than sitting back, maybe dropping and using your thighs. So really send those knees forwards. Okay, roll the spine down and back. So we're gonna work a little bit of single leg. If you don't want to work single leg, work double leg, just lower and lift, lower and lift. Or you can do that with hands across. As you lift, try and send the knees forwards. And then again, the bottom will push those knees and the bottom muscles will work better, okay? So for anyone who wants to work single leg, roll the spine up, okay? And from here, balancing arms down, keep the hips level, raise that right knee up. Now just focus on keeping that right leg lift, uh, yeah, your right buttock lifted from here. Send the knee forwards, hold it, hold it, hands across the chest, keep holding it, keep holding it, five, four, Three, two, one, lower the foot, and then arms down, roll the back if we need a little break, roll the spine up, and same on the other side, knee lift, this is my easiest side, knee, send the knee forwards, so don't take it in the back, you do not want to feel anything in the back, it wants to be working the buttock muscle. So if you do feel it in the back, put both feet down on the mat and practice bridge with both feet down. Five, four, three, two, one, lower the foot, arms down, lift your heels up and roll the spine down. Allow a knee hug, because when you're building in bridge, the back muscles will work, okay, they're working. So they need to just then release a little bit if they're not used to it. Um, go back for another set, but this time with some lift and lowers. So arms by your side, wide in the shoulders. Watch they don't come up like this. Um, and roll the spine up. Okay, use your arms. They're there. You can push down here. Compress down. So if you are somebody who gets a bit tight, use your arms a bit more. From here, float the left leg up. And we're going to lower and lift with the right buttock. Lower. Try and send that right knee long and forwards. Lower, lift, lower, lift. Five with the hands across the chest. Lift, four, three, two, one. Up, lower the leg, roll the spine down, and same on the other side. So coming up, right knee lift, and oh, hand by the side, lower and lift, lower and lift. Three, two, one, and five more. You don't have to take the hands here, and if it's too much load through your knee, then just stop, go back to both feet on the mat, and lower. And I should say, just watch that this leg doesn't lift you up. Okay, watch for that movement. Doesn't happen. Roll down. Big knee hug into the chest. Open circle and close. Then coming up to kneeling for one more, or coming up to sitting, I should say, for one more time. Can use both legs. Tuck the head in. Create a little curve. And you can use your tummy muscles to rock your pelvis up and away using your tummy to come up and then round in after that exercise widen the knees and just allow the back to stretch and come down good so coming on to our side for some leg work so nice at long and lengthen again you can hold your hand, a head under your hand, or your cushion, or your jumper, whatever you've got to use at home 
today. Hips over hips, shoulders over shoulders. Have your underneath leg a tiny bit forwards. Okay? And from there, lift and lowers with up and over. Okay? So we're going to lift the top leg, and as you do, stretch it long. Connect the ribs. Take a moment, find that position. And then lift up, toe tap in front. Lift up, toe tap behind. Up and over. Up and over. Up and in front, up and behind. Up, up and behind. One more. And in front, up and behind, up and hover. Eight little pulses. Eight, six, five, four, three, two, one, and pause. Have the hand on the mat if you need to, and lift and lower the underneath leg. Lift and lower. Use, I'd rather use the hand for balance than find your whole body changing shape. Four, three, two, one, and back down. And rest that top leg, lifting it up. Repeat, forwards and back, up and forwards, up and back. Up and forwards, up and back. Two more pairs. Forwards, up and back. And forwards, up and back. Hover, eight little pulses. And lift, six, four, three, two, one. Hold it there. Hand on the mat, lift. This time, double leg lower. Double leg lift. Now think of leg, grow tall from the crown of the head whoop, to the heels. Good. Lift and low. Keep the arm there. Lift and low. Lift. One more. Lift and low. Good. Bring that top knee forwards onto the floor. Bring that top arm forward. And just allow a big lift and a nice rotation. And then coming round straight onto your tummy. For some gentle back extensions, cobras or swan dive, um, modifying. So again, arms not too far forward, but not too close to you either until you know how your back is feeling. Relax the shoulders, get your upper back as flat as you can, legs wide, slide the nose, peel the head, peel the chest up, lift with your heart, centre lift with your, your spine, and extend and come back down. Again, if that's easy, bring your hands closer to you. Four more. Peel, lift up, go forwards with this movement. And peel down. Okay. Go forwards and up. And forwards and down. Go forwards and up. And forwards and down. Go forwards and up, pull the tummy and pull the ribs in. In fact, I can do one more. I can bring my hands a little bit closer as well. Peel up, looking forwards, lengthen away from your low back. You don't want to feel any compression in your low back. Bring your hands to your chest, push up, and then bring the knees in and just allow that stretch back. In fact, stay here for a moment. And walk your hands round to the left. Good. And creep your right fingers further forwards. And drop your right buttock back to your right heel. So all this side, your bottom back to that heel. And then walk round to the right. Creep your left fingers forwards. Drop your left buttock back. Stretch through. And then back. Great. So then we can change ends and come onto our right side. <laughs> I actually do have a cushion. But anyway, your jumper, your pillow, whatever it is, keeping your head comfortable and level. Hips over hips, shoulders over shoulders. My, the spine, keep that connected, nice long spine. 
underneath leg slightly forwards, hover the top leg, stretch that waist long and lift, point the foot in front, lift up and over and behind. Up and in front, up and behind. And three, and four, <laughs> two, one, back and lifting it up, hover, stretch, lift and pulses, seven, six, mini ones, five, four, three, two, one, hover, underneath leg, lift and lower, lift, connect here, connect ribs to pelvis, engage, draw in and up, <sighs> inhale, and lower. Underneath supporting hand should be up, not pressed down. Two, one, and back. To repeat, lift and in front, lift and behind. Up and in front. Five sets of these, up and over. And imagine there's a barrel, you've got to take your leg over and up and in front, over and up, behind. I think this is one more. And back and hover. Eight pulses. If your hip is telling you it, it's really screaming, you have a niggly hip, then you have a rest. If you've got a healthy hip that needs working, you can work with that. Lift, double leg lower. Lift, double leg lower. Use a hand on the mat if you need to. Don't let this become a strain in your head or upper body. Pilates wants to look effortless and light, and that's what you're working towards. Keep the length from the crown of the head to your, your feet, waist, and lower. Lift, lower, one more. Lift, lower, and rest down. Bring this knee forwards, arm in front, lift up, over, rotate behind, and then back up. And again, come round with your tummy, push yourself back and round into rest position. <clears throat> or if the knees don't allow it, just allow that a little bit of movement in cat or back round. So a little bit more on our front. We're going to do our darts today. So we're going to come all the way down and flat. Again, you might need a little cushion to rest your forehead on. So your arms are by your side and your legs are together. So you connect your legs, you stretch them long, try and point your feet to the wall behind you. And you're going to hover your arms, turn your shoulders in, but most importantly your shoulder blades are going to slide down the back a little and your collarbones are going to open. So these shoulders don't stay down, they open. Okay. So I'm going to do it all at the same time, <laughs> okay? Engage the center, legs long. Slide the nose, lift the head, lift the chest, go forward, the arms hover. And come down. Peeling up the upper back. Oh, should it go together? Head, chest, shoulders, good. And come down. Now, for some of us, our legs might feel more comfortable if they lift. So engage the centre, slide the nose, head, chest, shoulders. If the legs are not to lengthen, you can come up a little bit more as long as it's comfortable and it's nice and an even curve. And come back down. But otherwise, it's really working. This upper back, don't miss that upper back bob. Head. Chest goes forwards and up. Okay, arms lengthen. So it's the upper back, lower back stays well out of it, a little curve, but not too much. Two more. Head, chest. If it feels comfortable, legs can lift. Working towards more exercises later. Well, not later today, but further on. Head, chest. Keep those arms nice and open and come back down. Great. 
bring the hand to the chest, always come back into a rest position. Let the arms rest by your side if it's comfortable. And then finishing with a little bit of um, four point kneeling work. So I went on a big bike ride, <laughs> sprained my wrist by doing too much downhill. So my wrist really doesn't want to do this today, so I'm going to have to go to fists. Okay, and that's not the aim of the exercise. The aim of the exercise is to keep the pelvis and the back still and stable while we leg slide and lift our leg away. So engage that centre, okay? Find that movement, find a middle position and engage the centre muscles. From here, slide the right leg back. Keep everything level, okay? Tray of drinks can lift on your back. Lift and stretch that leg long. Keep the ribs tucked in as well. See the sort of top. Hold it there. Hold it there. If you feel comfortable, you can reach the left arm forwards and hold that balance. Zipping in the tummy. Stretch long without too much. You see my upper back's a bit stiff there. Reach long and back in. So I shall lift my arm too high there. So slide left leg. Keep the head up. Lengthen and lift, keep everything level. Look at that rib dip, lift that there, lovely. And then if you feel you can, without arching your back too much, really reach and pull, stretch. Hold, hold, good, and back in. So let's take that into leg lifts. Slide, lengthen back, level, lift, and lower, lift, and lower, <laughs> lift and lower, lengthen. Now what we've talked about is trying to lengthen the front of the thigh as you lift. Okay, not just sort of arching the back, we don't want that, it's lengthen the front of the thigh. Bring it back in. To show you on this side, we're trying to lengthen this front of the thigh as we lift. I'm stretching my toes towards the wall behind you and lower. So the actual movement that's getting bigger is my hip being able to move behind my body rather than my back arching too much. There might be a little bit of movement, they're all connected, but not a great deal of movement. I'm looking for hip extension. Back in, try the other side once more. Six lifts, lengthen that leg, keep it nice and level, lift and lower. Lift, stretch that leg long behind you. Okay. Going off at an angle. <laughs> one. Back in. And last one. Keep that body lifted. Lengthen through the front of the thigh. Keep the rib cage and in. Good. This is my easiest side. So you can tell my easiest side. I've got more movement. And then we all have an easy and a hard side. Round into cat. Repeat as we started. Drop back to your heels. Straighten the back and come forwards. And round, drop back to your heels, stretch and forwards. Round, drop back and forwards. I think I'm going to lose the height of the video here, but um, <laughs> walk the hands in, tuck the toes under. Let the upper body release, keep the bottom down if you can, and roll the spine all the way up into standing. Okay, and then finishing in standing with some roll down. So bring the arms forwards and up. Add a little heel raise and lower. Bring the arms forwards, relax the arms. In fact, let's just have them either side. Gaze your centre, nod the chin, round the upper back, keep the low back still for as long as possible, as long as possible, and it rolls down. Obviously bend the knees if you need to, keep the tummy pulled in and lifted up to the ceiling. And then roll the spine, tuck the bottom underneath, pull the spine back, and roll up, lifting the arms up. Reach up tall, and lower, bring the arms forwards. Follow it like your curl up. Curl up, there's your curl up before. There's your curl up. 
Then it comes into our back. Keep lifting here now. The tummy muscles lift up to the ceiling. The head goes, the shoulder goes, and allow the knees to bend. Let the tension come out of the upper body. Let the arms and shoulders just release. And then soft knees roll up. Lift the arms up. Exhale, down. Roll the spine up. Exhale, down. And roll up for one last time. And finish that. Ooh, finish that. <laughs> Great.